Hi guys, welcome back to Station Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to do some sky replacement or background replacement from blue screen shots from uh, Ron's latest Cupid video. First off, what we're going to do here, I'm going to bring the slider down and we're going to hit trim to comp. And we're going to work with this shot right here. So first of all, we're just going to use our traditional key light and grab a section of blue and because the sky is so flat and perfect it just keys out very nicely. Now I'm going to do what I always do here and grab a white solid and throw it underneath so I can see how clean my key is and then just fine tune it here, finesse some of these numbers up. Play that out, okay looking good. Okay I have a pre-made background layer here that I made um, with some fog, some smoke, city skyline and everything. Um, I made that separately. So you can use anything, a still of a city, uh, actual footage. I'm gonna throw a curves layer here on the guy with the gas mask and bring up the green to kind of make it match with the background. It's starting to look good here. Uh, right there. All right, cool. All right. Now what we're going to do so that the camera motion matches the the background, we're going to track from our original shot. We're going to find two points here that we can pick and I'm going to select let's go over to motion tracking here, track Okay, and I want to select the position and the scale. I'm going to select a bit of this power line and this leaf over here. hit analyze forward and then we're going to apply that motion to our background layer. Once you've done that now your background layer should move in consistency with your foreground shot. So I just want to reposition this here. I want to get rid of the water and just use the top of this skyline here. Um, this is a 1080 image. Right now I'm editing at 720 here. We can afford to bring this thing down and blow it up. All right, now that uh, sky layer is moving with the foreground layer and it doesn't look weird or anything. So next I'm going to add a just a quick fast blur here to the background and kind of defocus it just a little bit. Uh, there we go, that looks good. About 12, okay. Then to bring everything together, I'm gonna add a final adjustment layer here just to kind of blend the colors and the look to everything. Maybe add a little contrast here to the curves and bring the green up a little bit bring it, there we go all right and this is the shot now you can see his jacket there it's a little noisy so what I'm gonna do next here is double the layer up that doesn't appear to be doing too much so I'm gonna go up here and add a denoiser and there we go and there's the shot now in the final comp we added particular and thanks to Tim there that looks great stay tuned see you guys next time